Welcome to My Long Island TV. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. Once is about uh, an Irish guy who is a musician and uh, it's set in Dublin and he is uh, going through a really rough time in his life and he's about to give up on his music and kind of everything. He meets a Czech girl who's also a musician. She kind of pulls him out of his funk and together they make beautiful music together. It's a lean in kind of show. So you're just enjoying music in a pub, enjoying other humans that are in the same space as you. And then it sort of melts into the show uh, without you really knowing it. And so you're still kind of leaning forward as if they're just some people right there telling you a story. So uh, yeah, it's, it's special in that way. His life is stopped, but he has a good heart. And you, you're not stopped too? You're a man, he left you here. In a way, she's also kind of stalked herself like Guy, but she doesn't see that. She sees somebody else in need and she wants to help them. She sees how incredible musicianship that they have and she feels that she can help that. And so her whole focus is bringing somebody else up. And in the process, she finds herself too. Maybe you are frightened to sing with such a big love. Maybe you're not bothered anymore. But maybe you should be bothered. Enda uh, Walsh, she wrote it. He knows how to write women. From Girl, my character, who is this passionate young woman who's really fiery and, and has this incredible energy behind her to Barushka, her mother, who's also this incredible spirit. I just, it's such fun to play and the writing that he has given us allows that to come through. We sit all around the stage um, and we have this big jam session before the show where people could come up on the stage. And I think it helps the audience connect that they're just sitting in the audience and we're just sitting on the side and, and we jump in with our music and they are part of this story as well. We kind of played around with the idea that it just happened that um, Guy sang the last song and we jump into his story that if it could happen that um, Reza could tell her story one night and Doc could tell her, his story and any one of these people could tell the story. I can do karate! <laughs> you know that, right? Yeah, I saw things are lethal weapons days. I play Billy. He owns the music shop. He's kind of a big teddy bear, is, is kind of how I like to view him as. He, he, he kind of sees himself as a protector of the girl. And so he's got all this bravado, you know, that he tries to, like, intimidate people with. <sighs> when I first started rehearsing this show, the, the director gave us so much room to just create the character that we wanted and do what we wanted to do with it. Through doing that character, I kind of found my movement in myself, which was really fun to find. It's a complicated business, this love. That's the problem. A good show to me is something I look at and I go, oh, wow, like, I would love to be there, be a part of that thing. So if people out here are, are feeling that same way, then that's amazing. listen to this music I mean I've heard this music so often uh, and it still moves me I and mean, it's still I still hear it and it's just like oh man that is so beautiful it's just it's just great music I'm not, I'm not 